Hello again, this is Ken Turner from Milford, Ohio, 2 Corinthians 5 and 18. He says, who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. Christ dying on a cross, overcoming death, hell and the grave by resurrecting on the third day. He has brought salvation and redemption to man and reconciling. He's reconciling. The ministry of reconciliation is here. That's what the ministry is for. That's what ministers and teachers are for. That's what you are if you're a believer in Christ. You are a minister of reconciliation to bring people into the body of Christ, to surrender their life to Christ. Verse 19 says that in Christ, God was reconciling to the world to himself, not counting their trespasses against them and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. We are called, if we're believers, we are called to reconcile people to Jesus Christ, to preach and teach salvation, redemption to people, to share our testimony of how God has redeemed us, how God has saved us, how God has set us free. That is the message of reconciliation. And he goes on down here in verse 20, therefore we are ambassadors for Christ. In other words, we are representatives of Christ. What kind of testimony do you have today? What kind of representative are you for Jesus Christ today? Kind of a scary thing, isn't it? Kind of a tough thing, isn't it? Because sometimes our flesh cries out. We get angry. We say things we shouldn't say. We do things sometimes that we shouldn't do. But we are ambassadors of Christ. God making his appeal through us. That's powerful. God making his appeal through us. You know what that does? That puts a lot of onus upon us. Because we, we are being used by God making his appeal through us. So here he goes on to say, we implore you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. He's imploring. That's what we should do. We need to implore people, surrender your life to Christ. If you want freedom, if you want true freedom, if you want true life, surrender your life to Christ today. Make reconciliation with God. Ask Christ into your life. Ask him to forgive you of your sins. He will set you free from any type of bondage, any kind of addiction that may be in your life. God bless you.